What's up people and welcome to another one of those videos with skins under 100 euros. This one is going to be a bit more special than the other videos because we, me and the great community that I have, decided on the first skins on one of the recent live streams. There will be some changes for some conditions in order to include a lot of cool stuff and also I took one of the recommended skins out in order to save some budget. But remember that this is a personal choice and if you wish to go with the proposed skin, you can always avoid buying other things instead. Before I start, I got two things to tell you. First is that I will keep the style of the other video. I will get the repeated skins out of the way. What are the repeated skins? It's some of the skins that were used in the 10 euro loadout. And second, since it's quite hard to have a nice pink or purple inventory overall, there will be a lot of field tested skins. I know, I personally don't like the idea that much, but then again, most of the skins look pretty good even in field tested. Yay! Yay! The first skin that was in the 10 euro loadout was the P2000 Acid Etched. I kept it since it's cheap and there is no other pink P2000. The Scar Poultry Gaze is another skin that we saw before. This is the first and last skin that will be in factory new for today. I think this was the first skin ever to gain the title of a smart pick for my videos. I will use the same trick for this time as well. But also, the price difference is even bigger than last time. It used to be 68 cents when I made the 10 euro loadout video, but now you can get one of these for yourself for 29 cents. I got 4 more repeated skins to go and then we can jump to the good stuff. The Scout Fever Dream has the amount of pink that we need to keep it in the loadout. I would go with the Fade for the UMP since now we have a skin on that. More specifically the Souvenir one because it's much cheaper. But that would be 50% of the budget for a gun that not many people use. The Moonrise will do for now. For the Bison I will take the Space Cat again because it looks too good and also it dropped in price a lot in comparison with last time. The final repeated skin is the Sword of Apocalypto. It speaks for itself. Now, time to get to the good stuff. The first pick is the CZ Tacticat. It's a cute skin, it got a cat over here, then it has a paw over here. From the Winter Offensive Collection, I give you the FAMAS Pulse. This is also the first field tested skin of the day, but even in fact to renew it would look pretty trashed up. Because the budget allows, you cannot really have a purple inventory without the Neo Noirs. To break the ice, the M4A4 will be the first Neo Noir skin. Sadly, infield tested, but hey, it's super cheap. This was the community's favorite and the first pick that was decided on the live stream. It's the Neon Rider. This skin already takes away 25% of our budget. For the M4A1S, I am delighted to give you the Decimator. This is one of those skins that don't get scratched as the condition goes down. The only thing is that it gets darker. Too bad I don't have enough money to bring in the Tech 9 as well. I think this is the video that has the most field tested skins ever. But as I said, it's hard to have a pink purple inventory on a minimal wear or factory new. I made no exception on the Kumiko Dragon. For this MP9, I can say that I can use it for any loadout that I want. Because it has a decent amount of each color. It has blue, it has green, it has yellow, a lot of orange, a lot of red, and also plenty of pink. That's why it's here today. I told you that you cannot get away with the Neo Noirs. They are a set of underrated skins. And they look pretty amazing in my opinion. If I got the Glock, I might as well just get the USP also. Why not? I know it's in field tested, but it still looks good. In this game, there are two Neon Rider skins, and both of them are in this loadout. That's a big win. The Galil Chromatic Aberration not only has enough pink on it, but it also has a 3D effect and other easter eggs like the T-Side logo over here and the bomb code on the back. 
This is the only skin that you guys recommended and I did not select it due to the budget issues. But in case you want the Hyper Beast, you can exclude some other skins from the list and get the beast instead. Pinkwise, I think this has way more pink than the Hyper Beast and also a better price. But, 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 what is the op? No op in the loadout. Here is the op. Is the Neo Noir. Also, this is the final piece to have all the Neo Noirs in the game, which is 4 out of 4. This will be the final skin for today's video. I decided to randomize it a bit and have the better looking skin at the end. With the op concluding the list, I would like to show you another skin that you can get instead of the Neon Rider. That is the MAC-10 Discotheque. It has some nice effects on it, but remember that this is a preference based thing. And it's also a recommendation. Just like all the skins that I show you in general. Anyway, thank you for checking this video out. I wish you a great day and see you next time. Oi, remember to like the video.